My name is Paul Gessen. I'm the president of the Rio Grande Foundation, New Mexico's only free market think tank. That's G-E-S-S-I-N-G. -S -S and I had my, my wife and I had our first child one month ago, so I care about the future every bit as much as the folks who presented this morning. Chairman and members of the Environmental Improvement Board, I'm here to comment in opposition to the proposed regulations. But my concerns relate to the integrity of the process. Impartiality and fairness are paramount in considering this rule, as your final decision will impact jobs, our children's futures, and the environment. Citizens of New Mexico have a right to have this measure judged by a panel that is, in fact, fair and impartial, and it's not prejudged in any aspect of this matter. Unfortunately, there's more than a reasonable basis to question the objectivity and fairness of some members of this board. I will address these issues in outline form. I wish to submit some documents for the record that contain more detail as to why Mr. Green, Ms. Dillingham, and Mr. Gollum should recuse themselves. The first concern is the question is the reason to question the par partiality of board chair Mr. Green. Four of the parties in this matter have hired Mr. Green as their lobbyist through the Coalition for Green Affordable Energy. The Coalition for Green Affordable Energy has received over $100,000 from New, New Energy Economy, the lead petition in this case. Mr. Green is the public New Mexico spokesman for the Pew Environmental Group and has publicly advocated their view that mankind is causing global warming and emissions caps will have a beneficial impact on New Mexico's economy. Issue two surrounds Dillingham and Gollum. Mr. Gollum. Mr. Gollum is president of Rainforest Action Network, which advocates for public policies based on the theory that mankind is causing global warming and that extreme measures must be taken to cut CO2 emissions. Dillingham is director of New Voice for Business. Both organizations belong to an alliance that includes new energy economy. That coalition called One Sky lobbies for the same cap on carbon emissions as the one requested by New Energy Economy. New Energy Economy has given approximately $100,000 to One Sky. There is thus a reasonable basis to question the impartiality and fairness of both Gallon and Dillingham in this matter. Under a rule of New Mexico Administrative Code 20 20.1.1.111, no board member shall participate in any action in which his or her impartiality or fairness may reasonably be questioned, and that the members shall, shall recuse themselves in uh, such an action, giving notice to the board and the general public. I announce this recusal on the record. Thank you. Thank you.